Hello Loita, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be doing some more vlogging lately because it's really all I've got time for these days. So I thought I would show you guys a bit of a day in the life on my day off because I'm actually starting a new job tomorrow. So I thought that I would kind of like walk you guys through the next few days. Uh, so um, I've been really busy lately and that's probably why it's been like several weeks since I've made a video. I do try and make a video about, I do try and make videos, uh, but I have been having a lot of issues with like what to make. So um, I am probably going to be making one about port Portuguese because um, I am probably going to be taking classes pretty soon on that. Uh, so yeah, this has been a very long way of vlog sort of style thing. Um, I just got my passport registry stuff done today, so that's been great. Um, and then I got, like, paid and everything, because it's payday from both of my jobs, you know, I'm working three. Um, I've been super busy. Um, I performed last week, and I've been doing a lot of other things as well. So, if you guys want to kind of know what I've been doing, then just carry on watching. Hello, everybody. So, I have dance class at the moment that I am heading to. I actually have not been doing this for a while, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and go now to dance class. I am just vlogging for the moment. Um, I don't know why my phone won't work when I have it on the aux cord. Sometimes it works when it films, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start driving. Okay, so I am on my way to drive to my dance class. I am not gonna be in a good angle right now, but hey, it might be a bit flattering. So I'm gonna be doing this right now. I actually wanted to do a little bit of a chat with you guys because I am finally doing drive with me videos. Uh, so I am um, a little bit sleepy right now. Um, I went early in the morning for my passport appointment. Well, early to me because 11 a.m. is pretty early for me, even though it's technically late morning. So, um, yeah, I went out to do my passport stuff. I'm going to be moving, I mean, leaving for England in a few months now. I'm not exactly sure around the time, but I know I'm going to be having my passport in enough time to where I may not have to worry about it, which is great. Um, they said it'd take four to six weeks. Those of you who have passports from the U.S., you can, like, let me know in the comment section what you've done, um, in the past. I, uh not really sure because it's really quiet right now so I thought might as well talk to my camera on my phone so yeah um for those of you who don't know I think I did an update video on me doing pole classes I have not um done pole for at least a week um I actually had an open mic night last night last week so I couldn't do my typical um day in the not day in the life but typical like spin pull flow class that I usually do on Thursday nights from 8 to 9 even though I did not go on till much later um it was like midnight or 1 a.m before I got on but it was a great experience um I will probably make a separate video on that because that was actually a pretty fun experience I would highly recommend anyone of any level of music to do it um I should actually probably do a video on that because I've been doing it for a while now for open mic nights I've also been performing my entire life so yeah um i'm not really gonna change the angle of this because if i do i'm probably gonna end up being stopped by a cop because that's just how it works around here um actually our cops are pretty bad around where i live so yeah it's a very very interesting time to be driving right now because it's getting close to rush hour which i don't know where it is you guys live but we have rush hour around here and I wanted to try and get there before rush hour. Granted, it's about four o'clock right now. It's actually a little after four. And uh, it usually hits around here about like five-ish. Right now, it's getting a bit weird. At least where, where I'm driving right now is not that bad. So, um, well, it will get busier as time goes on. I'm actually probably gonna be taking a couple hours of the dance classes tonight. So um, I'm doing like a major fitness class. Um, it's like based on like the really hard areas of your body. So like your glutes, your stomach, all that. Um, I have not done a vlog in forever, you guys. And I miss it. 
because I, I mean, granted the other ones I've done were pretty boring, but I'm finally taking you guys with me this time and telling you guys like my, my experiences and stuff. Um, so I was working yesterday and we had some guy come in. Um, I actually work in phone sales at the moment. So I work inside a major retail store, not going to mention which retail store that is. However, um, we get a lot of interesting people in. I'm going to share you guys a little bit of a story that happened when I first started. So I started about three months ago at this job and I had a guy come in for a phone upgrade. He wanted to upgrade from like an iPhone 7 to an iPhone 10. I think it was like the 10s because that's the only ones that we've got right now at the moment. So I had him come in for a phone. And he came in for a phone, he brought his kid with him. And I did make a comment on one person's video about her story time of like a customer from hell or get like a makeup counter, which I did just recently get a job as a makeup artist. So I thought that'd be kind of fitting to relate this into here. So what happened was, is that I was trying to upgrade his phone. Our system is very stupid sometimes and it has a tendency to require a down payment for certain situations as sometimes in major phone selling companies such as like Verizon or AT&T um, at least in America they require a down payment and you have to pay that down payment um, of a certain amount that requires it and unfortunately for this fellow we'll call him George George decides to uh, he was a very young guy he's a grown-ass man come in, come to think of it he got upset because he had to pay the payment and I told him, you know, I mean, there's nothing really I can do about it. It's just what our technology wants us to do. And he straight up throws a credit card in my face because he wanted to pay it. And I mean, his kid was watching, mind you. But it was just so bad. I was so upset. I mean, I wasn't really that upset. I kind of thought it was a little bit funny. Like a grown-ass man. Adults can act like kids too. So George was a little bit, a little bit unhappy at, time, at that so, um, yeah, you can't hear my AC. I would put music on, but for some reason, my phone, when it's connected to the aux cord on my car, it does not allow me to play music unless if something else were to happen. So, we're going to be stucking, sticking with audio for now. Okay, so I'll, t I'll talk to you guys once I get to the dance studio. All right, guys, I am at the dance studio. I will probably not film inside, even though they do encourage it. I may actually insert some clips me dancing uh probably not because it's like a like 30 minute session but i am gonna be doing more videos on it so uh yeah anyone wanting to know what my german sounds like please stay tuned or any of my other languages that i speak my eyes look super great right now <laughs> look at that light oh my god my face is so red it's not irritated by any means just my skin is really weird right now so yeah, I'm gonna hurry up and go in there because I don't wanna be late, even though I'm like 15 minutes early, but I, I'm excited. Um, I haven't done a lot of like individual dance sessions for a while because I've been busy and dance classes right now have been pretty good. A little fun fact to know about me is that I have been doing, I've been, a, I've danced pretty much my entire life. So, um, pole is something way different, way out of my comfort zone than what I have anticipated for in my life. I've always wanted to do it. I was told how empowering it is, and it's unbelievably empowering. Those of you, regardless of gender, you could just do it. I mean, I highly recommend looking into pole classes. Granted, dance classes are never cheap, and now I know why my mom struggled to do them for so long, struggled financially to do stuff so, wrong, so long, and I now can finally afford dance classes luckily there's like it's kind of like a gym as well as like a fitness as well as like a dance studio it's mostly like a dance studio but there's like many other things you can do in this place and i get like unlimited classes which is great for the membership so um i better hurry up and go now and i will talk to you guys in a little while
Das war gut. Ja. Ist windig. Ja. Wir gehen zu meinem Auto. Ja. Also. Exercise ist gut. Und. Ich bin traurig. Ich bin Mutter. Ja, das ist die Heit Wort. Entschuldigung, die Musik ist playing. Okay, in all seriousness, guys, I just got done with three hours of dance. And also like one hour of yoga, basically, a stretch class, which is what I really needed today. Even though I live a stress-free life, I can definitely do a video on that. Actually, I probably will because uh, because I think it's important to live a stress-free life, and I do. So, yeah, yeah, das ist gut, ja. Yeah. No stress, stress. I don't know if that's the right way to say it in German. I was just about to speak French, but I'm probably going to say that for later in the video while I try and speak French because I'm probably going to be watching some French films when I get home. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that pretty soon. So I'm actually- Hello everybody. This is, I think it's Thursday today. Yeah, and then this will be uploaded shortly. So I just got done watching Dan Howell's coming out video basically, and I have a lot of thoughts on it. Um, be it Pride Month, granted June is not a good month for me for many personal reasons, but I thought I would shed some light more on the LGBT community considering I consider myself part of it as well. So Dan Howell, who is a YouTuber, Dan is not on fire for those of you who know his videos. Hi, I'm also in the fandom too. So, um, I really liked his video on it because it was super... It's weird because he can shed light on serious topics and still be kind of funny about it and still have like a little bit of humor. At least I take it humorously, but some people may not, obviously. But granted, what he talked about was very relatable to me, almost too relatable, because I was like, oh God, like, I was, granted, I was never like beaten up for being different. And it is more than okay to be different. And I thought that I might as well end the vlog on this note that... It's okay to be different, and being different is basically how people are nowadays. When I was growing up in the 90s and early 2000s, because I was born in 97, but I feel like nowadays it's just a lot more accepting, at least for the most part. I mean, well, for some of it, because I grew up in a very tiny town of like 500 people, and then when I moved to a much bigger area, like where I'm at now, it was so much different than what it is in the smaller towns and smaller communities. And it really shouldn't be, but it is. And that's something that I am very against as people being completely closed-minded towards everything involving sexuality and being like, oh, it's not work. Like how do people there in that sexuality have sex? How do this, how, how do that? Or that's wrong. I've been told many times that's wrong and read the Bible because uh, a lot of religious bigots here and um, I mean, there's religious bigots everywhere, but you shouldn't really judge someone based on their sexuality. I have I deal with judgmental comments every single day of many people and I don't like it. 
but I like that it's Pride Month. It's a very accepting month, in my opinion. Granted, personally, I don't really like June. It's not because I hate Pride Month. I actually really love Pride Month. But I also have a lot of, like, personal issues that go on every single June have been for a while. But I thought I would, like, end this here on a bit more positive note than what I've planned because I am kind of just tired right now. I actually do have a little bit of a work thing going on in a couple of hours. So I do need to get ready for that. And I also need to do my makeup before work. And I will see you guys in a new video, which most likely will be this vlog first and then a another video on top of that. So those of you who are interested and want to see more of me, please subscribe to, to my channel as I do put out videos when I can. And be sure to like this video if you liked it and dislike it if you didn't like it. Because who fucking cares? Except if you want to leave a thumbs up and give your opinion. Also comment down below if you'd like. So this has been the end of my little vlog for like three day, my little like three day vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and be sure to stay tuned and I will see you guys later. Bis später.